You can do mantra? Yeah, of course I can. It's such an easy move. Can't you? Of course I can too. Look. Yeah, I can't do that. It's probably because I have small hands. Dude, have you looked at me? I am also small hands. <gasps> Dude, can you teach me? What's up guys, I am going to be teaching you mantra. I am not exactly going to be teaching you, I am just troubleshooting you to help you out. Learn mantra. And since I, I can't teach you because it was originally a paid tutorial. So someone leaked it online. Someone leaked it on YouTube. So right now it's a pirated tutorial. So not getting myself in trouble. I will not teach it to you but I will troubleshoot for you. And also a lot of small hands think that mantra can't be done by small I It's true I am actually a small hand myself and I can still do mantra. It just takes patience and practice. Harshi is all about that. Practice makes a man perfect. Let's go learn mantra. Before you even start learning mantra, I want you to practice this. This little thing I came up with. This is a move that actually helped me so much in learning mantra. Because first of all you may going to like get rid of half the deck and going to Charlie it and then do this. This will just get in help you get down that motion of the compact and open thing in mantra. Let's troubleshoot mantra. Tip number one you need to get a deck which is like seven to eight months old not real crappy deck because they will like clump and when you do mantra instead of one card two cards like this will come sticking out so that's not good take a two slippery deck this package since it's not supported thing will fall like this so that's not good either needs a deck like this this is like seven to eight months old here the series b v3 by the way that should be the tip number two would be that you when you start doing mantra you have to open around two half of the packet in the this packet two half or like just half just half of the deck that so get easier for you to do this if you take less than half say like i'm taking like one one fourth and doing this it gets very difficult and when you do this you can see so many cards is there that's very hard to do mantra so you want to open around half of the deck and then do half of the thing with the mantra half of the deck you have to do mantra actually get into mantra you for doing mantra you actually have to get into this way pinky should be on the bottom right and as you open you need to always keep like this packet in intact with the pinky pinky is actually supporting this packet with, uh, like the most because what happens is that when you do mantra when i started doing mantra what happened was that unconsciously i didn't even know that my pinky wasn't even supporting sometimes it just fall and it just end up like that so you don't want that you want to actually pay attention to the packet and see that you are actually uh, like your pinky is actually working and not letting that packet fall down next for the actual card that is coming out now what you want to do is if i remove that packet i will see that i actually put this the index at the center of the card so seeing i am putting it on the glove and that's why i can do this mantra so you need to put it around somewhere at the center of the card okay and then you can see so that you can get total control of the card when you in this like in this display and getting it over this packet tip number five now when you do mantra you'll feel like this pack is not important but this is the main important part if you notice in mantra what happens is that as mantra goes on this packet actually slides towards this packet so that this card can like get over this packet 
so this helps a lot this like this packet helps create like a plane so that this packet can slide into this so for doing that you have to make this packet as flat as possible at starting i used to do something like this to get it flat but this is basically like a bit flat but not that flat and this is how our mantle was at that time as i go that as but as i went on I learned that to open the packet you have to open around the center so the thumb should be at the center almost and to help that card get over almost at the center while this packet will be at this part of the index you know to help the card get over that packet the flow of mantra right is very important the flow of mantra is like compact right then it open this is the part where most of the people can't do this is it's like the beat of mantra is like compact very very loose right now every single one of the fingers are very loose and then compact again so this flow of mantra you just need to have patience and practice you know so at first my fingers are very crampy and like tight but then my fingers get loose and very silky kind of smooth and then again go back that's kind of the flow of mantra and this is very important also in tip number 7 i want to tell you that when you do this on the thumb packet like i said on tip number 5 you need to make it as flat as possible but you also need to do is that as you do mantra this you will see like in an actual mantra performance you will see that this packet keeps moving right in a way like this packet keeps getting flatter and flatter for this packet that's it so another tip when you do mantra is like once you want to tell me that when you do mantra you have to like in this grip my finger is like fully 100% I can't even stretch out my finger more than like this. My finger is something like this. You have to stretch so much out. And like even when it is full spread out, there's still a lot of space here left. You know why is that space left? Because when I do this, for this packet to come, for this packet, this packet right here, to come to this packet, like join. what you need to do you need some space you know you need some space here to get that to get this card that packet you can see that my pinky and for that to also happen you need to like uh, experiment on this area of the packet of the thumb the thumb actually is one of the main controllers in mantra so you have to turn like this So that a lot of space here is left for doing this. The last tip I just want to say that I want to help you do a mantra, but don't overdo yourself. What happens is that when you practice mantra, even I am a trying to say, your hand kind of pains and it creates a lot of stress in the index and the middle, like just over here. So I will pain, but don't go too far. and you will see that your hands are starting to pain a lot and your thumb or your index or whichever finger it is are going numb you need to stop doing it take a break break do other moves do swing cut make combos do wherever you have interest in wherever the areas of your interest are in culture just don't keep overdoing yourself because what happens is that as you as your fingers keep getting numb the and when you start getting mantra the more you keep doing it the fingers will start to get more and more sore which will make you not be able to do mantra for more days so like if you for 2 hours your uh, your fingers are numb and you and you are not able to do mantra but you still do it for 5 6 days you won't be able to do it don't over do yourself take a break every 15 to 20 minutes of mantra practice do like 5 10 minutes of this random shuffling card if you watching tv or whatever and then again try to do it right 
Yes, so that is it for the troubleshooting video. Okay, next video is going to be the uh, video where I will tell you how to create combos and stuff. And I hope that it really helped you out. You know, just to learn mantra. Mantra is a difficult move, for, in special for small hands. So just to keep patience and keep practicing. And if this video helped you out, click the like video down below and subscribe to me. Peace. Audio Jungle.